What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping for the first time, my face is completely dirty because I just did a bright job on an Audi. Anyway, this company contacted me over Instagram and said, hey, do you want to uh, you want us to send you a foam cannon? And I said, sure thing, why not? An extra one is not a uh, is not always a bad thing. So pretty much we're starting today off filling this up in here because I already have the hose connected to the power washer. If you're a long time follower of the channel, you know uh, the OG leaky power washer is in full force up while I'm up here in Cleveland for the next week. And I probably should turn the water on a little bit higher, but we'll wait. On this channel, if you're new, I, I tell everybody who watches and follows my channel, keep your vehicles clean. Uh, avoid rust down the road, especially if you're gonna be owning them for a long time. You don't wanna be 10 years down the road. Um, this is me talking to myself 10 years down the road right now. You don't wanna be working on a rusty, uh, beat up vehicle because you didn't take care of it when it was brand new. So number one thing, take care of your vehicles. You invested your hard earned money into it. Keep it clean. Oh yeah, and you guys know, look at how well that jacks wax. Ceramic Shield Shampoo does. Restoring the beautiful green color of this truck. Apparently I didn't do a good job rinsing because there's a few soap bubbles. You know, a few people message me on Instagram and say their factory headlights will fog up. Um, yes, I was spraying warm water on a truck on a semi-cool cool day. It'll fog up like this and it'll go away rather quickly. So yes, OEM headlights do this. It's kind of annoying, but yes, this does happen. Uh, but she looks good. yesterday gave this truck a wash uh, I get a question so often about the Jax wax ceramic coat and I'm gonna tell you that amazing product and not uh, I bought that myself I put it on myself for a hundred and some change it's probably one of the best things I've ever done it, you know the, the, the ease of making the ease of cleaning your truck but I washed my truck yesterday as you guys saw and then after that I helped my dad wash his car um, and the, the, the difference in just like washing the paints is unreal um <laughs> like the feel of my paint the feel of his paint crazy the, that ceramic coat is amazing this is part of the reason why i love driving a g56 holding first gear driving slow it's legitimately like driving a semi this thing is awesome one thing I love about being up in Cleveland uh, I guess back where I'm from uh, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park uh, this isn't like a adventurous wilderness video but what I'm saying is it's honestly awesome to have like a national park in your in your hometown's backyard awesome awesome driving experience crazy views uh, it just awesome Today we're gonna be doing something pretty cool, pretty fun, uh, pretty, uh, I guess, more skilled than anything. Uh, I'll get this question often or comment often that people say, oh, you don't need to shift, you don't need the clutch to shift your gears. Uh, and the answer is, in fact, you, you really don't. However, the, the clutch is made for a reason, to disconnect the transmission from the engine so you can put your truck into and out of gear. If you're ever driving and you try to take your, you know, your stick and push it out of gear, it's very hard. That's why the clutch is there, to engage and disengage the motor and transmission together. But people tell me all the time to float gears, and I'm going to tell you one reason why it's bad. Uh, first of all, you miss 
you miss your shift and you're going to be uh, making a lot of noise grinding uh, gears and that's not fun. You're just weakening the uh, the gears and the transmission. And two, that's why there's a clutch there like I just said. Is it possible? Yes. Are we going to do it? Yes. But here's the challenge and the trick. Uh, I installed a South Pen 3250 GK in this truck. If you, you know anything about dual disc clutches, it makes the truck harder to get into gear. Um, it's just stiffer and it's just how it is. Can you float gears with a dual disc clutch in your truck? We're about to find out. All right, so here we go. Also, people are like, oh, you don't need to start in first gear. Yeah, I, I get that. I never do, but in parking lots, I will come here. That was with the clutch. All right. That's with the clutch because there's this giant semi coming. All right, once we get around this curve, we are cruising in third gear right now. All right, here we go. As you can see, RPM's getting high, ready to shift. No clutch. just like that people call it floating gears a lot of semi truck drivers do it they have a lot more gears in their truck so the uh, the room for air is a lot less the more gears you have because your gate is almost always open to allow the gear to drop in downshifting without a clutch is a lot more difficult because you got to really get the rpms up can it be done yes I don't remember the last time I've done that so I don't really want to try that in this transmission because I don't feel like rebuilding it normal downshift because people love going 26 in a 30 and we'll do it again give it some speed there it is clutchless shift so my answer is do I recommend doing this no because the first time I tried it yes I ground gears in my Jetta that that's why the clutch is there it's simple as that. Do I recommend shifting without the clutch? The answer is no. When you're shifting without the clutch, you're waiting for the gate to open. You and the synchros to line up and you pull. You're pretty much pulling against the gate till it opens and it just falls into gear. Go for it and try it out, but do I recommend it? No, because you will probably grind gears uh, up front. Uh, next stop over here is I'm trying to go to Best Buy to get a tripod for this camera because uh, somebody's amp steps are stuck down. I don't know what that person's doing. Man, people just don't know how to drive. Anyway, go to Best Buy over here to uh, try to find a tripod for this camera so it's easier to hold. Also, when I could hold my DSLR, would be extremely nice. Oh, we got the bougie, the basic Wrangler Black Sport. Got the uh, basic white and black factory uh, package of RAM. The basic factory package of uh, Silverado, all black. Factory basic package, Sierra, all black. See, there's the uh, gear rollover noise. Happens sometimes, not all the time. I don't understand why. It's kind of loud, but with the radio on, can't hear it at all. Now, that's not me saying that these packages don't look good, but I'm just saying, man, literally, I, 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 like, yes, the trucks look good. Don't get me wrong. You bought a great truck. There's literally another one down there, another black factory Ram. My thing is, I hate when you see the guys that drive them and they think, they're the coolest dude around just because they're driving around in an all black Sierra, all black Silverado, all black Ram that they just bought, bought off the lot. They're like, yeah, man, this truck's sick. They didn't even touch anything. They didn't even change it. They didn't even make it theirs. And then you get it. Oh. But then you look at this thing and you're like, dang, that's actually sick. No kidding, literally the last one. Okay, a couple things I just learned with that transaction. First of all, I hate using cash. It's just too much stuff to hold. Second of all, this, if you go back and watch that clip, it says 
$4.99 on the shelf there. And this is what drives me nuts. Uh, retail, there's no way. Like, I, I don't shop at stores anymore. The reason why I did is because, you know, just like this morning, I filmed that cold start. I, I set up on a rock. And I'm tired of just, like, setting it up on things. When I washed my truck yesterday, I set it up on a bucket. So I'm like, just give me a, give me a small tripod. It, it'll make things a lot easier. So I'm like, while I'm here, shoot. I'll go to the store. Hanging out, I got nothing else to do. I'm off for the next week, so whatever. So we go in there, you saw the price tag, it's at $79.99, and then <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let me just check Amazon, because Amazon is the king of everything, am I right? $49.99, look at that. $79.95, look at that. Save 30 bucks, Amazon, sold and ships from Amazon. Look at this, Joby uh, 3K tripod kit. Same thing I got in this bag. $79.99 was price, price match, $30.04. This is a little bit off topic of the video, however, it's important. There's no way retail lasts long at all. There's not a chance. When Amazon can offer something for $49.99, and obviously Best Buy will match the price, great, that's wonderful. However, the fact that I don't have to leave my house, or I could go on with my day, do whatever I want, order it from Amazon, it'll be here in one or two days, uh, depending on which shipping you get, Prime for free, one day for a couple bucks more, and they're offering prices $30 lower than if I walked in there. They're, Amazon is always offering you the lowest price possible. I could go on for days, I could go on for days about this, but if you're buying something retail, see if they price match, check Amazon. Most times stores will price match from Amazon. There you go, there's Ryan's tip of the day. These people are pulling up looking at my truck. 5% did for the win, I love it. This reachability is unreal with this thing. That's awesome, cool. So now I got a tripod that I could set up and uh, film videos with and I'm not so close to my face so you guys don't have to look at all this all the time. So that's awesome, wonderful purchase. And shouts out to the price match. Oh, wow, look at this while I'm at it. I mean, that's still horrible lighting, but if you guys haven't watched a video, I bought like 24 of these months ago. Uh, <laughs> and I still have like a whole packet. It's never a wrong time to add one. That's another thing I hate with shopping at stores. This awful traffic. Look at that. That's all backed up. This is backed up. This is probably about the fourth time I got stopped at this light in a matter of like 50 feet. Like I could just shop online. I don't got to deal with any of this. I'm most definitely going to have to do a video when I break in my clutch because I just did a poll in this truck by no means does it like throw you back because it's such a big vehicle but oh my is it fast uh probably went from about 40 to 70 in fourth gear no time that's incredible and the clutch held and pulled strong we're gonna have to do a video on when the clutch is actually broken in because i probably shouldn't have done that even though we're close but that was awesome Oh, so guys, here we are back at home. We drove on a dirty road and the truck is already uh, dirty, so who knows if it'll be nice enough tomorrow to power wash this off because it's so fresh. We more than likely will not have to wipe her down, but good thing we still got all our washing materials out. So, short story short, yes, you can float gears with a dual disc clutch. Man, I am really loving this tripod. I have a long, long range of reach now. This is awesome. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, I'll just post a link to this uh, the tripod in the uh, description below if you guys are interested in it, and you'll get the, the lowest price already, and you don't gotta go through Best Buy and get it uh, discounted. Yes, you can float gears with a dual disc clutch, which is uh, which is awesome, I guess. I don't really uh, recommend doing it, and I hardly ever do it. Sometimes when I'm driving and I'm you, you know, rolling down the road, I know you buckle up before, but if I'm trying to buckle up as I drive, I'll just uh, float it from third to fourth, and it'll be just fine but yeah, with a dual disc it, it makes it a little more difficult but it is achievable as you saw <clears throat> I know these last few videos have been very more on the informative side um, but like I said up here while I'm up in Cleveland we're gonna be doing a lot of informative fun fun things and then when I get back to Columbus we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna order some mods I got some cool things that I'm doing right after I film this to kind of involves the the new lift and stuff so you guys will see that very soon but for the next few days that I'm up here yes I have a few cool videos that I, I need to film uh, one of them will involve these factory taillights uh, we're gonna be doing something to that so stay tuned for that and then we're also be doing a cool experiment like I said I got a lot of stuff to, to do and film while I'm up here uh, however oh yeah. wow this, this is a nice tripod look at that 
whole truck almost. But yeah, it's just nice that I have some actual time that I can just sit down, film some videos, uh, stuff like this, and after this, I'm gonna go edit this video and I'll be able to get some things done I need to get done for uh, this truck so it's ready for Daytona. Uh, this truck is standing here, it's big. It's a big truck. I can't wait to go up, uh, you know, lift it, get a little bigger, and uh, just make it crazy. As 2019 comes in, we're gonna start a whole bunch of new awesome builds. Um, <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for the support. I got thank you for the comments. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you guys all for being interactive on this channel. And like I said, going into 2019, that's how I want it to be. I want it to be a giant, interactive, fun, you know, awesome channel where I could bring, I could bring a truck. I could bring a, uh, I could bring a car. I could bring a, a golf cart. I could do, bring whatever onto this channel. Everyone could be involved. I know I got a lot of people who, who who don't even like trucks, but they're here for the you know the awesome content and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. I just want to say thank you to you guys. Take a second here and uh, say that. Yeah, I want to say thank you for the support. And uh, that's going to end today's video. I have a lot of stuff to do. And I will I will definitely include that in the, in one of the next videos. If I can get it all handled tonight, you guys will be super excited about what I'm about to do right after I shut this camera off. Because uh, it's very important for the whole Daytona truck build here. Um, you, will, you will be very excited about that. <laughs> Still sick, not fun. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. As we're up here, it's very informative videos, but as soon as I get back to Columbus, we got uh, power mods, stuff like that coming along as well. So you guys um, get excited for that. Thank you for watching. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video.